All right, next thing we're going to talk about is positive and negative angles. And I've kind of hinted at this already, uh, but positive angles are going to go counterclockwise. And again, the reason why that is, and this is, let me back up, when we're talking about these angles, um, we're, again, almost always talking about angles in standard position, so I'm not going to keep saying that, uh, but that is what we're referring to. Um, now, this is still true, positive and angle, negative angles, whether they're in standard position or not, but the angles that we're going to be dealing with are going to be in standard position. So counterclockwise, that is the direction in which the quadrants go and when we label them. Um, so those are positive angles. Negative angles go uh, clockwise. <clears throat> and again, when we say negative, don't think so much about that, you know, maybe we learn in a geometry class where we can't have a negative distance. Uh, that is true. And an angle is kind of like a distance measure. I mean, it's a rotation, right? Um, but we can still have a negative angle because it's giving us direction. In this case, the direction is clockwise. So all we're trying to do here is just get a more of a um, physical sense for how big or small certain angles are. So we want to draw an approximate angle. And for the first one here, we're doing 140 degrees. And so I know that my initial side, and again, I'm not going to keep saying it, but all of our angles are going to be in standard position. So the initial side will always be the positive side of the x-axis. I know that this is 90 degrees, and I know that this is 180 degrees. And so 140 is going to be kind of like there, right? So this is approximately 140 degrees. Maybe that's not perfect. Maybe it should be a little bit further, a little bit less. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. We're trying to approximate negative 280 degrees. Okay, so again, we're going to do our initial side, and then I know this is negative 90 degrees. This is negative 180 degrees, because now I'm going the other way around, and this is negative 270 degrees, so 280 degrees is going to be just past that. I'm going to draw it like right here, and my angle is this. So negative 280 degrees. Wasn't that fun? Okay, now you're going to try it, but it's going to be in radians. What? Yeah, I said it, radians. Okay, so you are going to try to draw an approximate angle of 4 radians and an approximate angle of negative 17 pi twelfths radians. Now my big hint, because I'm going to try to have you do this on your own, my hint is think about how I uh, did these where I marked down the axes with the values that I know, right? And so with radians, we know what the axes are because we know what halfway around a circle is in radians, and we know what the entire circle is in radians, so therefore we know what a quarter of the way around a circle is in radians. Um, so try that. Try this on your own. Draw. It's an approximation. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Really, the biggest thing is you're just trying to get the terminal side in the correct quadrant. Pause the video. Unpause when you're ready to check. Alright, so hopefully everybody did well on that. I believe that you can because I believe in you. Um, Alright, here's my initial side. Four radians. How big is four radians? Remember that sometimes radians are in terms of pi and sometimes they're not. Well, what is pi though? Pi is halfway around the circle and pi is approximately 3.14. So four is a little bit bigger than that. Now notice also just for reference sake, I marked that the what we normally think of as 90 degrees, right? In radians, that would be pi over 2. And that's approximately 1.57. So I think, okay, well, this is like 1.57. This is like 3.14. So I've got to be a little bit past that. So this is going to be 4 radians. So I should be here in the third quadrant. And it was a positive angle. So I went counterclockwise. Next one, negative 17 pi over 12. So here I have to start being comfortable with fractions. And you're going to notice this is going to be a big theme when we're dealing with trig and especially radians. So sorry if this is a little bit hard to read, but down here, again, if I think about, okay, this would be, I would normally say this is negative pi halves. Just like I, up here I said this was positive pi halves. So if this is negative pi halves, but I want a denominator of 12, that's going to be negative 6 pi over 12. So I'm just getting a common denominator so I have everything in terms of twelfths, right? Halfway around the circle would be negative pi, and it's negative because I'm going uh, clockwise. But in terms of twelfths, that's negative 12 pi over 12. If I continued on, three quarters of the way around the circle would be negative 18 pi over 12. 
And so I'm looking for negative 17 pi over 12. Negative 17 pi over 12 is a little bit less than that, so I have to be here in the second quadrant. If I had gone all the way around, that would be negative 24 pi over 12, because that's the same as 2 pi. Nice work.